give me another city, man. Um, looking for one to hunt for white crime, man. Where you goddamn white criminals at, man? Topeka, Kansas. Topeka? Topeka. Mm. T-O-E-E-E-K-A. Topeka. Let's see. Uh, I don't know, man. Police have named a person of interest in a homicide that happened last week in Topeka, where a man was killed and a woman seriously injured. TPD is seeking the public's assistance there you in go, locating Mike. the Sear Gill. Oh, the seen on your screen here. Damn, the white Sear man. 19 stands at five foot six and weighs about 160 pounds. Five foot the six. Sear's hair may not be green, as you see here in this photo. Authorities are looking for Gill in connection to the homicide of Brian M. Wright Jr. on June 21st. That happened in the 3100 block of Westover Road here in Topeka. Okay. Um, it could just be, you know, that could just be a one-off, man. Um, Supreme Court also rejected a Topeka man's appeal for his murder conviction. Devontra Alston's lawyer argued his convictions for aiding and abetting the murder of D'Angelo Payne in 2020 and for conspiracy to commit it violated the nation's double jeopardy clause. The court dismissed the argument, affirming the act of murder and the agreement to commit it are two separate actions, each found to be punishably by longstanding precedent, Alston was one of three defendants convicted of first degree murder in Payne's death. To be Man, that went all the way to the Supreme Court. Now to a crime alert. Shit. Supreme Court also rejected. Oh, the Kansas Supreme Court. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, what else is going on? We got some drug arrests. I'm glad it's getting arrested for drugs. We're looking for crime, man. We're looking for violent crime. Yeah, violent crime. Yeah, in the street, man. Preferably in the street, man. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, I guess this is, I guess this is about it. Shawnee County deputies arrested two men accused of brandishing a gun at them. The sheriff's office says 44-year-old Aramis. Gladys, I mean. Fernandez and these, these could be Gladys, I mean. Look like some Anglo-Saxons to me. No, that, that's, I see two wickeds right there. <laughs> and this is obviously a gay thing. <laughs> Good, they have slightly different skin tones. Old Manuel Torres Velagrana got out of their vehicle and pointed a gun at a deputy in the 2700 block of Southeast Virginia. Hernandez, who was on parole for battering an officer in 2018, was arrested for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Torres Velagrana was arrested for criminal possession of a weapon by a felon. Stay to a story we first brought. Shawnee County. Okay. Um... Let's see, man. It's not looking good, man. Uh, oh, here go a robbery. This could be a glider. Police are investigating tonight a Lawrence Bank robbery. This happened about 920 this morning at the Bank of America branch in the 900 block of Ohio Street. That's near downtown Lawrence. Initial reports indicated that a man in a black beanie cap with a black mask mm. came into the bank and demanded. That's a son. Them arms. Yeah, it looks like there. a son, man, and me. Yeah. Yeah. The nostrils. The nostrils are, I think, a give off. The, the slow forehead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arms. Yeah, this is this is definitely a this is definitely a son. Man. Mike, Mike just turned the show off. He's like, oh, I can't even <laughs> listen anymore. He's screaming in his bathroom right now. Man, you you got you guys chased him off a bit too quick though, don't you think? No, he left. Like we didn't even really chase him off. He was just a retarded liberal bro someone call him a son we're lover and he's got a son wife you you know you know he can't you know he's not i know but if, if that bothers you that much that you leave like that's your <laughs> no, problem. I know, I know. yeah he wanted you to cam up fish no he wanted hot black to cam up this morning at 
Right. I mean, that that's a tactic they use when they start losing. They got to change the subject. He changed the subject every single time somebody said something. Shout so out to Ray our, Day. Go ahead, go ahead. It's not our job to dox ourselves so he can, like, attempt to ruin our lives. Like, it's just like <laughs> these these guys are such kids, man. Uh, salute to Ray Day, man. He says, not see, don't see K days. I have no idea what that means, man. But um, salute to Malik Kweli, man. He says, you can find rampant white on white crime in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> I don't know, man. Who was killing people on tattooing? If you remember, I don't think it was the gliders. Mm hmm. Back here in the capital city, new this morning, a Topeka man has been arrested for Topeka's seventh homicide. Topeka police have arrested 18-year-old Dasani Curry of Topeka. God <laughs> damn. <laughs> Mike, it's not looking good, dog. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, he looks That's a Klingon <laughs> for sure. Oh, yeah, really? this dude's from Tatooine. That's why they wear the mask down there. Yeah, that. Er, 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 <laughs> that's this dude. Damn. Dasani. Is that is he Haitian? Dasani? Where's uh, Mark, man? He's, Mark, he's uh, obviously Norwegian. That's a, is that a is that, <laughs> yeah. is that a is that a is that a Haitian thing? It might it might be he he doesn't look like an American. You're a stereotypical American black. No. No, he doesn't. And the other one, the other one in Topeka didn't look like me either. I don't think so. I've never heard of that name. I usually know. Okay. The Shawnee County Department of Corrections for murder in the first degree, attempted murder in the first degree, and aggravated child endangerment. On June 21st, TPD responded to a shooting in the area of 3100 Westover Road. They found one male and one female victim with life-threatening gunshot wounds. The male, 23-year-old Brian Wright of Topeka, died at the hospital. Again, this is the seventh homicide of the year in the capital city. So that was that was a couple. This was nine days ago, so they've had a couple since then. Um, man, uh, Topeka, man. I, I think we've exhausted Topeka, man. Is there uh, anyone else? Omaha. <laughs> yeah, Omaha? Okay. Omaha, man. White crime, man. White crime hunt, man. Let's find some white crime, man. A place where, you know, whites are just tearing up the city, man. Um, let's see. Ugh. You know, Mike's probably thinking, like, well, what about the lack of investment? What about what about the, the what kind of programs are available in these areas yeah certain zip codes uh don't have the same resources right yeah Ain't man. that the case i'll have you know my neighbor is a black man so that yeah that's two for two uh my neighbor is a black 